Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and we're gonna take a look at the transverse ligament. Now, the transverse ligament is right here, and it acts as a seat belt for the den. So this is the dens here, and this is C1, the lateral masses. So you can see it going right here. Now, uh, if we scroll back and forth, these are one millimeter slices. Uh, pretty rare to see one millimeter slices, and but we are seeing that this high signal is pretty consistent. So uh, that's something that could be a potential problem. And uh, we would then need to stress the transverse ligament in flexion and extension, and then look at uh, this area here, the atlantodental inner space, to see if in flexion that opens up, which, which would be a test of the transverse ligament. So we do have high signal here in the transverse ligament. If we really want to get a great MRI of the transverse ligament, we would need a head coil uh, and a 1.5 or three Tesla MRI. This was not done with a head coil. And that's because this is at the limit of the imaging range for a neck coil. Uh, normally all we get is this down here, sort of C2 through C7, but they happen to catch the transverse ligament here. Again, high signal, we would need flexion extension radiography to really test that. Uh, but this is a nice picture of the transverse ligament. So I wanted to share. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.